Toto, if I can come along to you. Um, yeah, show your appreciation. Yeah. I had a couple of wolf whistles from men there as well, so you're obviously uh, pop, you're obviously uh, pop, you're obviously uh, popular with, with both sexes. Congratulations. Um, actually, just thinking back a year ago, we had a very famous Austrian here, maybe uh, obviously with the Austrian connection. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, did you, you hang out with him here last year? Did, is he a, a pal from back home? You're probably all related. It's a small country, Austria, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I there's, not. There, there seems to be a real quiet calm in, in the team. And trying to read the body language, as we have to do in the media, of your drivers and you, you're looking very cool, as always. What, and what have you got heading up your sleeves? I see you, you've got them rolled up, so you've got short sleeves, but do you need a translation? Yeah, uh, what, what can we expect from Ferrari this season? He doesn't understand the Scottish. He doesn't understand it all. So we have a Batak machine here. Are you all familiar with it? Test your reactions. I can tell from Maurizio's face he's uh, loving that. So I mean, uh, put it to you, please. It's okay. I'll explain to you. It's very simple. Now, what you have to do here is whenever you're ready, you push that. And then thereafter, every time you see a blue light, you react and touch it, and you only have 30 seconds, and it's a question of seeing how many you can do. You, your training facility, I'm sure, has it at uh, Ferrari, like all the teams do. So, whenever you're comfortable, get a stance that it, you have to get down low. So, make sure your trousers are pulled up, you're, and you're good to go. Please, Don't touch the start. On you go. So, any If you want, down low, down low. There you go. Oh, left. <laughs> Bottom left. He's going well, look at that flexibility. He's definitely done some ballroom dancing in his time. <laughs> and it's over, I think, is it? No, no, where is it? Has it stopped working? <laughs> I, I think it's gone to sleep. <laughs> well, um, that worked fantastically well. So does anyone know what the dunny is? Yeah. The shit. <laughs> what in your mind is the number one thing F1 needs to do to keep fans engaged and indeed maybe win some new ones? So, I mean, uh, first of all, uh, to give a chance to the fans to go inside the paddock. Yeah. Because, uh, otherwise, we are going to look each other and, uh, and uh, we are not offering anything to the fans and uh, we, we are not near by them. And then the other thing to do, in my opinion, is to talk the same language of the fans. I mean, to, to use a bit more digital, 